Hey, this is Chris with vidsociety.com and today I want to do a review for you on a WordPress plugin called Affili Compare. And this is great for those of you who does affiliate marketing on WordPress and you want to be able to create tables similar to this here that basically allow you to compare different types of products and services that you can promote directly on your WordPress page or post. And so I've actually added this onto one of the WordPress sites that I sell with my WP Affiliate Suite course. And this is the affiliate marketing one. And what I done was I just created a post and I'm using the new editor here for WordPress, uh, but you can use either. And the way this works is you just create a simple post here. You're gonna give it a title. You can put some content in here if you want. And what you're gonna do is you're going to come over here on the left hand side of this section it says affiliate compare and this is where you're going to create your table that you want to use and when you do that it's going to give you a code and you're going to paste that code wherever you want in your page or post so it will show up there on that page or that post so before I get in and show you this just to let you know that link will be directly under this video where you can go check it out and get more details about it and also pick it up and get some bonuses uh, that you can find more details about those under this video also. Okay, so inside of the plugin Affili Compare, this is what it looks like. Uh, super easy to use. You're basically just going to give your uh, first table a name so you're, so you're able to distinguish it whenever you create new ones if you have multiple ones. And I titled this one Web Hosting. You got some control over the text color, the size, um, icon collar, icon size, shading collar, uh, and here, this here is going to be the short code you're going to use. And you can add as many rows or columns as you want. Obviously, the more columns you add, the more it's going to be squished. Now, with this one here, three looks like it's perfect, especially if you're going to have a column over here on the left hand side that kind of uh, gives the titles of what each row is for. Now, you're going to see here that I have these logos here now I actually went and grabbed these logos myself and I put them in here as images the star ratings the check boxes the red boxes these, these are all included with the plugin now this is a buy button that I had on my computer so this is what I used for that so if we go back into here you're gonna see that you have your columns there's four columns that I have in this one so I have the one here that tells you your features so that is this column right here and then we have a column right here for SiteGround, one for Bluehost, and one for HostGator. And everything you add underneath of it is what's going to show up in these boxes here. And you can add as many rows as you want to add as many features as you want. And so what you want to do is when you come in here and set this up, you have this option here for a feature block. And what the feature block is, is this part up here at the top. Now you notice I added one for the three hosting companies but I didn't add one right here and so you'll notice that this first column there's no feature block but for these there are and I gave it a unique color for each one of them so they really stand out this green blue and red now underneath of that I added another row and I didn't add a feature over here because these are just logos for the companies so if you go back over here you'll notice there's nothing in this white box but yet we have these logos here so what I done in these uh, boxes here is I just chose for a custom image and then I uploaded the logo images that I had which is what we used now for the next row I added the one called our rating which you can see right here and over here what I done was I selected predefined image and then I went and selected the four stars so these are images that come included with it there's things like red dot green dot uh, there's a green thumbs up, there's a thumbs down, and then you got your star ratings, and then there's check marks, which you can see that I use down here. And so uh, those come included with it, so you can just quickly add your star ratings. And you can also add HTML code, and this makes it really nice if you sell products from Amazon, you can actually, instead of down here at the bottom where I added a custom image, you could go to Amazon and get the text and image HTML code to put here and it will show the image with the Amazon box where they can uh, click on it to go buy it and everything so you can add any kind of HTML in these boxes that you want to use now over here in the features where I have like un unlimited bandwidth and support and learn more 
uh, which is right here you can see they automatically show up like this here without any additional coding so it's already showing that it's bolded and it's black so I didn't have to add any kind of additional HTML code to that and depending on the WordPress theme that you use that might be a little bit different if you're not familiar with the HTML code and there's certain things you want to use there are tons and tons of tutorials on YouTube or even like different type of generator tools you can use on Google to create HTML code uh, which is something that's uh, a really good thing to learn anyways and then here we just have where we added the X's and the check marks for this column and then if I wanted to if I wanted to add another hosting company over here I could add another column and you can see now we have a whole nother column we can fill in here and if I update it we'll just see how much it squishes everything together click refresh and so that actually doesn't look too bad at all so we could even have another fourth row in here so what it does the more columns that you put here it, just, it automatically squishes these images and everything down smaller so you can fit more in here so we could probably even add let's just do one more and just see what happens go back refresh and yeah so there would there would be another one and then you could even uh, make this a full page so if you have a WordPress site and you want to remove the sidebar you could have a lot more even going out here or bigger images or whatever you want to use and you can see here this is actually going across the side here because we got so many so I'm just going to delete this one and delete this one now these rows you can move them you can click on it and you can drop them and drag them so if you want one place differently you can do that otherwise you can just click this X and it will fully delete that row and then down here where we have a custom image um, I go to custom image click upload and then uh, this is where you're going to add a custom image or HTML code now obviously if you want this to be an active buy now button what you would want to do is is click here for HTML code and use HTML code with an affiliate link in there uh, with this image and that's how you would link it because otherwise if you just use a custom image you, you can't directly just link that by itself you have to use the HTML code so that's what this plugin is it looks really nice uh, on the sites Let me refresh this again and uh, let's see here let me go back and update it maybe I didn't update it and then we'll go back and delete the preview part of it and there we go so it looks really nice on the site and one thing that I love about this because this is something that I do a lot of on my affiliate sites is it gives people more options so if, if you're promoting something even if it's a YouTube video and if you're driving people to your website if they only have the option to purchase the one product they may or may not buy it but if you have several options here for them to look at and possibly purchase from you have a much better chance of making a sale and that's why there's so many different uh, uh, websites out there and companies who make comparison based websites is because they do so well and so this is just an easy way to create tables to add them uh, into your site so you can do that so this is called affiliate compare like I said I'll put that link below this video and I'll put some more details about it uh, as well as some bonuses you can get if you happen to pick it up through uh, my link under this video so that's it for this one if you have questions leave them below otherwise feel free to subscribe to my channel and like this video thanks